So a lot of you that have the Max XD have this little box here called the Lodar remote. Most of you will probably cuss this thing out at least once a week. Here's the deal. Max XD, I've removed all the stickers off of here, but this is one of those Max XD trailers. It's not one of the, like the crazy ones where you've got the, you know, hydraulic tarping system or the hydraulic jacks, but we do have an all-in-one remote for the up and down hoist and the winch. It's all in one remote. So these have come in vir uh, virtually different styles ever since they came out with them because I think they've been really trying to find a system that works. Uh, I have one of the older models of these and it used to come with two remotes. Huge pain. This was a step up, this single Lodar remote, but it still has its hiccups and it drives me nuts. The signal is awful. Right now, of course, we don't have a dumpster loaded on here, so you, it's not the best demonstration because all of our dumpsters are out. <laughs> but anyway, the better, worst part about it is when I'm unloading a dumpster or my driver Keegan's unloading the dumpster, we'll be sitting back here unloading it and all of a sudden, a lot of you are familiar with what I'll call the Lodar chatter. All of a sudden, the trailer starts going and it's cutting in and out and it's super annoying when you're trying to use the winch or get this thing to go out. A lot of guys will say, oh, you need to replace your batteries, but you shouldn't have to replace your batteries every three days. Huge pain. To imitate that, and since there's no dumpster on the back, I'll stand in front of the truck. One of the biggest things I've noticed is if you stand to the side, you actually get decent signal, no problem. But as soon as you get behind something, which we'll call this my dumpster, because it's just in the opposite direction, you'll start to get the chatter from the actual trailer itself, where it starts to lose signal. And what's super annoying about that is it's not consistent. It's sometimes you've got really great signal, sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're literally right next to the trailer, and if it's too cold, or there might be something blocking, it'll just start chattering and making all kinds of noise, which I can't imagine is super good for the hydraulic system as it is. But and again, it's just not consistent, really frustrating. Another thing that guys hate about this is they're super temperamental. If you use these in your car or your truck and they sit in the truck overnight, if you're in a cold climate, I'm sure that you run into the situation where the first few times you hit the button, nothing happens. And that's because the thing literally is frozen or you have to do the old, you know, old dad technique of just beating on it until it starts working again, which is, I mean, it's not the nineties anymore, boys. You shouldn't have to do that to your remote. Tough wireless here to solve all your problems. <laughs> Find it. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Tough wireless sent me this, and they tell me it's the all-in solution. If you have a Max XD dumpster roll-off system, this is kind of what it sounds like you need. Uh, these come in different variations. Since I have the base model trailer and have been rocking this for the last two editions, they decided to send me a four-button system, very similar to this Lodar operation, but apparently it's gonna solve all my problems. Uh, apparently it's way more reliable, way more, like way better signal, and we're here to find out if that's actually the case. Uh, for you guys that have those Primo trailer setups that have the hydraulic tarp, the hydraulic jack, which I envy you for having the jacks that you just hit a button and they go down. That will definitely be on my next trailer. But cool thing is you have an all-in-one remote. No having two remotes, three remotes, four remotes. And my personal preference is if we ever upgrade this trailer and go get them, we'll just have one remote in each truck. We don't have to worry about switching them around and everything because we have one system that uses two remotes. We have this one that uses one remote, but that remote is not reliable so sometimes i have to grab the old remote just to use the hoist huge pain so this i hope is the solution that we're really looking for it looks pretty simple they send you with this nice set of instructions i mean it's pretty straightforward it looks more than it is because it's just all here on one eight and a half by eleven piece of paper 
<laughs> this thing got to me in absolutely no time. Uh, and rumor has it that as of this week, all the new Max XDs, all these new trailers are gonna be coming with these remotes. But any of you guys who have the old systems can still upgrade and you can order these by themselves. I don't know what other trailers use these Lodars. I'm not super familiar, but I would have to imagine Load Trail, Lone Star, uh, PJ all kind of copied this Max XD setup. So I imagine they probably have these as well. And I would imagine these fit just the same. So for all of you guys that are rocking these electric pump trailer setups that uh, are rolling off dumpsters, we need to check these out. And so besides the remote that comes in the package, which I mean, nice small little remote comes with a little lanyard. Uh, it comes with this box. I like that it has an antenna. That tells me that we're gonna get mileage Literal mileage here, Keegan's my witness. This thing will be able to use all the way down. To see me down there using this remote. I truly don't know if that's the case, we're gonna find out. Well, here's the deal. We're not electricians. I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything about electricity or for that matter, anything, but we've got all these wires and we've got this load our box here. So we basically need to hook this system up to our existing system. The cool thing about these trailers is there's only a couple parts to them. You've got a battery, you've got that signal box, and then you've got a solenoid. And then the pump itself and the winch. Everything wires together pretty simply and everything runs through basically one system. So hopefully this is just like a plug and go. We take out the old, we put in the new. I'll let you know here in a second. Okay, so I'm not much in for instructions. We've got them if we need them, but I like to try to figure stuff out first. And uh, right off the bat, right off an observation, all of the colors here match the colors that are here. So if I was a betting man, if you essentially put all of these colors in the same order that these colors come in, the only moderate difference on my trailer that I noticed was we have an orange. There is no orange here, but we do have a brown. So if I had to guess, that is the same exact setup as this Lodar, which would be awesome for a plug and go system. Keegan's already starting to take this thing apart. So we'll find out if that's the case. I'll let you know if I blow it up. So our theory is adding up. This white one right here is apparently for winch input and output, or at least according to these quick instructions, the white is for the winch output. We unplug the white out on here and no longer does the remote work to tell the winch to move. So the theory adds up, the colors essentially are lining up so far. So you take one of these that comes in this little package here and you crimp it to the white wire. That's pretty much the easiest instructions you could possibly follow. Don't be intimidated by a bunch of wires, guys. It's not that hard to figure out. All right, so I hope you didn't just like stop the video right when I told you that all the colors match up because colors do not match up. Instructions do matter. Keegan and I just spent all that time putting that together. And as you can see, got this nice little remote working. And uh, if I hit down, well, take a look at what that works. Well, let's lift the hoist down. Well, that's not the hoist. That's the winch. Give us just a minute. How we figure out our wiring situation. Go ahead. This is supposed to be winch green on the new system is winch in. So we found out that this black wire here is the winch in. If you look over there at the winch, you'll see it go in. And if he tries to hit the out button, it doesn't do anything because it's still hooked up to the hoist backwards. So we know that this green wire to the new system goes to that winch. Let's get it hooked up. Guys, with these electric pumps that you see on dump trucks and these trailers, they're super simple. So the fact that we literally just went wire to wire trying to match colors was, I mean, just clearly silly. Because here you go, these, by this solenoid, this all controls your hoist, these hydraulic mechanisms all control the hoist so obviously when you read the instructions and if it says 
the hydraulic up or down, you're gonna be figuring out between two wires. And outside of that, for the up or in and out, you'll be figuring out between two more wires for the winch. That wire coming out from the floor goes to your winch. That's the only wire coming out from the floor that you actually have to mess with, which goes directly to the winch, in and out. Everything else is over here. Common sense is obviously your power. So your red and your black, your uh, plus and negative. All right, this is insanely impressive. Take a look at this. There he is, way over there with the remote. That is amazing. Keep going, keep going. Oh, for all of you guys who have that LODAR, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's no way it would have done that. Making them go even farther. Let's see if we can get a block away. All right, do it. Oh, we might have found its limit. All right, come back. All right, there we go. Go ahead and try the winch. Try the winch. Look at that. Even the winch is working. There you go. That's amazing. I love it. Nearly a block away. Try that with your Lodar. Nice. That is pretty darn impressive. So don't forget, you were looking for a tough wireless system. You're not going to be able to get that kind of performance with that Lodar. Not even from day one. It's not going to wear out to the point that you can't use it. That is just not something you see in the stock Lodars that used to come on these Max XDs. And for you guys that aren't going to read the instructions like we did, here's the wiring on the Max XDs specifically. Red, black wire, your yellow wire here. It goes to your solenoid right here. Your orange wire goes up here to your pump. Your blue wire goes up here to the pump as well. And then you've got your green and white wires which wire into your winch. And you can figure out that the white wire goes to white and the black goes to yellow. This is specific to this Max XD. I'm not gonna tell you that all of these wire colors are the same for every Max XD or every Max XD style dumpster, but I can tell you that is the setup here. So maybe you'll be lucky and it'll be the same for yours. All right, and as you can see, Keegan's in front of the truck, what normally would trigger the load R to quit on you. And it's no hiccup, no glitch, no popping, no chattering. It's working perfect and if he wanted to he could go back down the block there and still use it I don't know why you'd want to do that but heck you sure can thing the other big thing I didn't even point out yet look at this that is a charging port there's no more batteries every time you get done using this have one of the uh, I believe this is mini USB have that just plugged into your truck. So this thing's always sitting there charging. You never have to worry about one of those AA batteries going dead on you or freezing up to the point that you have to warm it up in your pocket before it can work again. Tough wireless guys, pretty handy. Let me know if you've already made the transition to them and let me know if you do, let me know what you think about it. Drop it in the comments. I hope this is helpful for, helpful for any of you who haven't done it, but otherwise catch us in the next video maybe drop us a like or subscribe but it's working for us we'll give you an update here in a few months on how it's working but i am utterly impressed right off the bat catch you next time